This is a typical heat pump installation where it's a heat pump doing heating through an underfloor system and also hot water, which is the cylinder that's just behind me here. So you have a buffer vessel here, which acts as a, an intermediary between the heat pump and any of the uh, energy sources, that, well, anything that's going to want energy from it. So either that's the underfloor heating or the hot water here. Um, we have the main controller here. This controls the heat pump that's out in the garden. We have a um, hot water and heating programmer here, pretty much identical to something that you'd see in your everyday house. We have our underfloor heating controller here, and that again is uh, being controlled by our Hitachi controller. So whenever any of the underfloor heating manifolds come on, so say the, um, the stat in bedroom two is calling, that'll send a signal through to the heat miser controller. That'll allow the hot water to come from the buffer vessel and down and through the underfloor heating loops in there. So th this here is, a, is an internal um, room temperature sensor for the heat pump. You can set the temperature that you'd like the house to be or a given zone, a room where people are. And if you take this device to that room, then the heat pump will make sure that that temperature is maintained in that area. It's a, it's a very useful feature. It saves you money, it saves energy, because you're only heating the areas where you mean to heat. If the buffer vessel starts to drop in temperature, then the heat pump again will be monitoring that on here. The heat pump will automatically kick in and it'll start to bring the temperature up in the buffer vessel. The whole thing is automated, looks after itself.